good morning students today's class we will see about the physiology among the reproductive system the most commonly asked some questions and their answers first one is test for ovulation usually ovulation occurs on 14th day of the menstrual cycle if the cycle occurs in 28 days period there are various methods determine the ovulation time in human beings usually indirect methods are adopted the determination of basal body temperature measures for few days before the mid period of the menstrual cycle there is a slight fall in the basal temperature prior to the ovulation temperature increases after the ovulation second is determination of hormonal excretion in the urine at the time of ovulation there is an increase in urinary excretion of metabolic end products of estrogen that and progesterone determination of hormone levels in the plasma plasma levels of fsh and lh and estrogen and progesterone are is measured at the time of ovulation fsh decreases lh increases and estrogen level increases after ovulation the progesterone level increases and also ultrasound scanning the process of ovulation can be observed in a series of ultrasound scanning cervical mucus pattern when the cervical mucus spread on a slide examined under microscope it shown a fern pattern this pattern disappears after ovulation Second question is lactation. Lactation means synthesis, secretion, ejection of milk. It involves two processes: milk secretion and milk ejection. Milk secretion. Synthesis of milk is by alveolar epithelium and is passed through the duct system. is called milk secretion. It have two processes there: initiation of milk secretion or lactogenesis. Although small amount of milk secretion occurs at later months of pregnancy. A free flow of milk occurs only after delivery of the baby. A hormone prolactin is necessary for this process. Even though prolactin produced in the pregnant state, its action is suppressed by estrogen and progesterone. Immediately after delivery, the sudden loss of estrogen and progesterone, and then the prolactin is free to exert its action on breast and to promote lactogenesis. Maintenance of milk secretion or galactopoiesis. This process depends upon hormone like growth hormone. thyroxine and cortisol which are essential for continuous supply of glucose amino acids calcium and other substances necessary for the milk production when the baby sucks the impulse from the touch receptors around the nipple stimulate hypothalamus hypothalamus secretes some prolactin releasing factors from antidiuretic gland it act on the glandular tissue and maintain functional activity of the breast the next is milk ejection Discharging of milk from the mammary gland. It is it it is a reflex phenomena called milk ejection reflex. When the baby sucks the impulse from the touch receptors around the nipple, stimulate hypothalamus. Now the hypothalamus sends an impulse up to posterior pituitary and causes release of oxytocin. When hormone reaches the mammary gland, it causes contraction of myoepithelial cells, resulting in the ejection of milk from the mammary gland. Different stages of menstrual cycle and its hormonal basis. Cyclic event takes place in the rhythmic fashion during the reproductive period of a woman's life is called as menstrual cycle. The ovarian changes during menstrual cycle. The changes in the ovary during each menstrual cycle occur in two phases. The first one is follicular phase. From the fifth day of the cycle till the time of ovulation day, that is from till fourteenth day. During this phase, there is a maturation of ovum with the development of ovarian follicles through the different stages. Luteal phase. This period extends from fifteenth day to twenty-eighth day of the cycle. During this phase, corpus luteum is developed, and hence this phase is known as luteal phase. Uterine changes during menstrual cycle. During each menstrual cycle, along with ovarian changes, uterine changes also occur simultaneously. They are first is menstrual phase. After ovulation, if the pregnancy occurs, ovum becomes cycloid and gets implanted on the uterine wall, leading to pregnancy. If pregnancy does not occur, if the thickened endometrium is shed or discommed. This discommoded endometrium is expelled out to the vagina along the blood and the tissue fluid. This process is known as menstruation. Second is proliferative phase. This phase extends from the fifth to fourteenth day of menstruation. 
from endometrium cells proliferate rapidly endometrium reappears on the surface of the endometrium within the first 4 to 7 days so and the blood vessels also appear all these changes due to influence of the estrogen secreted from the ovary secretory phase this period extends from the 15th to 28th day of the menstrual cycle after ovulation the corpus luteum secretes large quantity of progesterone along with a small amount of estrogen under the influence of progesterone Endometrial glands co commence the secretory function. The regulatory system functions through the hormones of hypothalamo pituitary axis. Hormones involved in the regulation of menstrual cycle are hypothalamic hormone that is GnRH, anti-pituitary hormones like FSH and LH, ovarian hormones like estrogen and progesterone. Hypothalamic hormone GnRH from hypothalamus triggers the cyclic changes during the menstrual cycle by stimulating secretion of LH from the antipituitary. The secretion of GnRH depends upon two factors that are external factors like psychological events which act on a hypothalamus via cortex and many of other brain centers. Feedback effect of ovarian changes via ovarian hormones. Anterior pituitary hormone FSH and LH from anterior pituitary mismodulate the ovarian uterine changes and by acting directly and or indirectly via ovarian hormones, FSH stimulates the recruitment and growth of immature ovarian follicle. LH triggers the ovulation and sustains corpus luteum. Ovarian hormone estrogen and progesterone just secreted by the follicle and corpus luteum shows the many activities during menstrual cycle. Ovarian follicle secretes large quantity of estrogen and corpus luteum secretes large quantity of progesterone. Estrogen secretion reaches the peak twice in each cycle, once during the follicular phase just before ovulation and another one during luteal phase. And estrogen responsible for growth of follicle. Both the steroids act together to produce changes in the uterus, cervix and vagina. Contraception. Fertility control or contraception is the use of any method or device to prevent pregnancy. It is also called the birth control or family planning. The first one is the method. It is based on the time of ovulation. After ovulation, on the 14th day of menstrual cycle, ovum is fertilized during its passage to the fallopian tube and it is viable for only for two days only. Sperm survive for only for 24 to 48 hours after ejaculation in the female genital tract. If the sexual intercourse occurs, two days before or after the ovulation there is a chance of pregnancy so pregnancy can be avoided if there is no sexual contact during this period second is mechanical barriers that are used to prevent entry of the sperm into the uterine cavity these barriers are called condoms male condoms is a leak proof sheath made of latex in females commonly used condom is cervical cap or diaphragm Chemical method. The chemical substance which destroys sperms are applied to the female genital tract before sexual intercourse. They are available in the form of foam tablet, jelly, cream and paste. Oral contraceptive. There are the drugs which taken by mouth to prevent pregnancy. There are three types of pills. They are classical or campaign pills. It contain moderate dose of synthetic estrogen and mild dose of synthetic progesterone. They should be taken 5 to 25 day of menstrual cycle. The withdrawal of the pills after 24th, 25th day causes menstrual bleeding. Sequential pills. This contain high dose of estrogen along with a moderate dose of progesterone. These pills are taken on two courses daily for 15 days from 5 to 20th day of menstrual cycle and then during the last 5 days these pills also prevent ovulation. Mini pills or micro pills. This contain low dose on, not only progesterone and taken throughout the menstrual cycle. It prevent pregnancy without affecting ovulation. The progesterone increases the thickness of cervical mucosa so that the transport of sperm is inhibited. It also prevents implantation of the ovum. In dry uterine contraceptive devices, fertilization and implantation of ovum are prevented by inserting some object made of metal or plastic into uterine cavity. Such objects are called in dry uterine contraceptive devices. It prevents fertilization and implantation of the ovum. A UCD with copper content has permissible action also. A UCD which is loaded with synthetic progesterone slowly releases progesterone. Progesterone causes thickening of the cervical mucosa and prevents entry of the sperm into the uterus. Spermatogenesis and its regulation. Spermatogenesis is the process by which the male gametes called spermatozoa are formed from the primitive germ cells in the testes. It takes 74 days for the formation of sperm from the primitive germ cells. Stages of spermatogenesis stage 1. 
proliferation. During this phase, spermatogonia divide by mitosis without any change in chromosomal number and this stage is spermatogonia micro along the strolic cells towards the lumen of semi seminiferous tubule. Stage 2, stage of growth. In this stage, the primitive spermatocyte grow into the larger cell. Stage 3, stage of maturation. After reaching the full size, each spermatocyte quickly undergoes meiotic or maturation division, which is in two phases. Phase 1, each spermatocyte divides into two secondary spermatocytes and receive only haploid or half number of the chromosome. Phase 2, in the in the secondary spermatocyte undergoes in second meiotic division, resulting in two smaller cell known as spermatids. Stage 4, the stage of transformation. No further division spermatids transformed into mature spermatozoa by means of spermiogenesis and released by spermination. Regulation of spermatogenesis, hypothalamic hypophysia, that is testicular seminiferous tubular axis controlling spermatogenesis, a similar stimulatory control, the role of hypothalamus at puberty, hypothalamic cells become more mature and their sensitivity for circulating sex hormones decrease so much that it is a pulsatile release of the gonadotropin drop in releasing hormone. From the hypothalamus, the GnRH stimulate antipituitary to secrete LH and LH. FSH, role of antipituitary. Antipituitary controls spermatogenesis to the gonadotropic hormones FSH and LH and growth hormones. FSH stimulates cells of steroid, which plays a role following role during spermatogenesis. Sertoli cells help the conversion of spermatids to sperm. They secrete androgen binding protein which stabilizes the high supply of testosterone or to developing germ cells in the seminiferous tubular lumen. FSH also promotes synthesis if inhibited by um, Sertoli cells. Role of LH also called interstitial cell stimulating hormone. The LH stimulates leading cells to cause testosterone secretion. The testosterone is required for normal spermatogenesis. Role of hor growth hormone. GH specially promote early division of the spermatogonia themselves. In the absence in the bitter of spermatogenesis is severely deficient or absent. Role of testicular hormone. And the testosterone secreted by leading cells by PAM paracrine effect are thus both sertoli cells and germ cells and thus maintain spermatogenesis. Estrogen formed from testosterone by sertoli cells are probably also essential for spermatogenesis. The feedback inhibitory control. The spermatogenesis is controlled by following negative feedback. First one is inhibit secreted by sertoli cells act on directly on antibiotary and inhibit secretions of FSH. Testosterone and Estradiol inhibit LH secretion by negative feedback mechanism. Estradiol exert a negative feedback effect on both hypothalamic and pituitary levels. Testosterone has um, its feedback mainly on the hypothalamic level. Functions of placenta. First one is endocrine functions. Placenta is temporary organ of pregnancy and secretes a large amount of hormones like SCG. It is a glycoprotein, estrogen. After the first three months of pregnancy, placenta starts secretion of estrogen responsible for the growth of uterus and increased vascularity and progesterone and human placental lactogen. Second is respiratory function. The gas exchange occurs between maternal and fetal blood across the placenta. Nutritive function. Nutritive substances like glucose, iron, amino acid, vitamins, fatty acids, water, sodium, chloride, etc. are transported from maternal blood to the fetal blood via placenta. Excretory function. The waste products like urea, uric acid, creatinine are removed from the fetal blood by diffusion into the maternal blood. Other functions like act as a barrier in protecting the fetus from the harmful effects of many drugs and in infective agents. Hormones secreted by the placenta. Hormones secreted by placenta, by placenta secrete six hormones. First one is human chorionic gonadotropin. It is um, on it is a glycoprotein on corpus luteum. It is responsible for the preservation and secretory activities of corpus luteum. Progesterone, estrogen is secreted by corpus luteum are essential for the maintenance of pregnancy. On fetal testis. Action of SCG and fetal test is similar to that of LH in adult. It stimulates interstitial cells of leading cells and causes secretion of testosterone. It is necessary for the development of sex organs in the male fetus. Estrogen and estrogen similar to ovarian estrogen in the structure and function on uterus. 
It caused enlargement of uterus so that the growth fetus could be accommodated on breast responsible for enlargement of breast and growth of duct system in the breast on external genitalia cause enlargement of female genitalia on pelvis relaxes the pelvic ligament progesterone fastener progesterone is similar to ovarian progesterone in structure and function on endometrium of uterus accelerate the proliferation and development of distribute cells in the endometrium of the uterus on the moment of uterus it inhibit contraction of muscle in the pregnant uterus on breast causes enlargement of breast and growth of duct system of the breast human chorionic somato Trophin HCS is a protein hormone secreted from the placenta, often called placental lactogen. It acts like a prolactin and growth hormone secreted from pituitary on, on breast. It acts on action of this hormone on the breast is a pregnant woman is not clearly known. On protein metabolism, it acts like growth hormone on protein metabolism. On carbohydrate metabolism, it reduces the peripheral utilization of glucose in mother, leading to availability of large quantity of glucose available for the fetus. On lipid metabolism, it mobilizes fat from adipose tissue of the mother. Next hormone is relaxin. It is a polypeptide secreted by the corpus luteum. It also secretes a large quantity by placenta and mammary glands at the same the time of labor. Contraceptive pills. All contraceptive pills are used to prevent maturation of follicular and ovulation. Follicular growth and ovulation are prevented by suppressing the secretion of another trophin by from the tree. Contraceptive pills have three types. First one is combined or classical pills. They contain moderate amount of synthetic estrogen like ethanyl, estradiol, and mestran. Nor and mild dose of synthetic progesterone like nor ethinodine or nor gestrone. The pills are taken on the 5th to 25th day of menstrual cycle. Withdrawal of these pills on 25th day cause menstrual cycle. During the intake of pills, there is a relatively large amount of fusion and progesterone in the blood. It suppresses release of gonadotropins like FSH and LH from the pituitary by means of negative feedback so mechanism. The lack of FSH and LH prevent maturation of follicle and ovulation. In addition, progesterone increases the thickness of mucosa in the cervix which is not favorable for the transport of sperm. Second type of pill is sequential pill. It can have a high dose of estrogen along with a moderate dose of progesterone. This pill can be taken in the two courses daily from 15, 15 days from 5th to 20th day of the menstrual cycle during the last 5 days that is 23rd, 28th day and sequential pill also prevent ovulation. Many pills or micro pills it contain low dose of lonely progesterone and they are taken throughout the menstrual cycle to prevent pregnancy without affecting ovulation. The progesterone increases the thickness of cervical mucosa so that time Transport of sperm is inhibited. It also prevents implantation of ovum by increasing the movements of fallopian tube. The phase of uterine cycle it is same as that of menstrual cycle we already discussed. Tenth question is ovarian changes in the menstrual cycle. Ovarian changes during menstrual cycle in the changes in the ovary during each menstrual cycle is occur in two phases. First is the follicular phase from the fifth day of the cycle till the time of ovulation takes place. That is from 14th day. Ovulation the, during this phase there is the maturation of ovum with the development of ovarian follicle through the different stages. The follicles gradually grow into matured follicle through the various stages. The primordial follicle at the onset of puberty, under the influence of FSH and LS, primordial follicles start growing through the various stages. Primary follicle. Primordial follicle become primary follicle when the ovum is completely surrounded by the granulose. The primary follicle develop into vesicular follicles. Vesicular follicles. Under the influence of 6 to 10 primary follicles start growing to develop into vesicular follicles. The changes which take place during the development of vesicular follicles are changes in the granulosa cell, changes in the ovum, changes in the formation of the capsule. Ovulation. It is the process in which there is a rupture of gravian follicle with the, which consequent discharge of ovum into the abdominal cavity. This occurs after the maturity of the follicle. It is influenced by LH. The ovulation occurs usually on the 14th day of menstrual cycle of 28 days. Second is luteal phase. This period from the 15th day to 28th day of cycle. During this phase, corpus luteum is developed and hence this phase is called luteal phase. Corpus luteum is the granular yellow body developed from the, from the graphene follicle after the release of ovum. It is also called yellow body. The functions of corpus luteum include secretion of hormone and maintenance of pregnancy. Copperty. 
fertilization and implantation of ovum are prevented by inserting some object made from metal or plastic into the uterine cavity. Such objects are called intrauterine contraceptive device. It prevents fertilization and implantation of the ovum. IUCD with the copper contains spermicidal effect also. The IUCD which is loaded with the synthetic progesterone slowly releases progesterone. Progesterone causes thickening of cervical mucosa thus prevent the entry of sperm into the uterus. Main IUCD commonly uses copper tea. As the name indicates, it is made up of copper and it is slim. Shape resembles like a tea attached with a nylon thread. Insertion mode. Most ideal time for the insertion is during the menstruation or within 10 days of beginning of menstruation because the diameter of cervical cavity at this time is greater. It can also be inserted during the first week after delivery. Mechanism of action. Copper tea act on preventing implantation and growth of fertilized ovum by evoking antiseptic an aseptic inflammation and thus making endometrium unsuitable for implantation. Advantages are it is safe, effective and reversible. It can be easily pulled out and re or removed when the contraception is not required. Disadvantages are in some cases it causes heavy bleeding. It may come out accidentally when not inserted properly and risk of ectopic pregnancy is more. Pregnancy test. Pregnancy test is used to confirm pregnancy. The basis of pregnancy test is determination determine the presence of human chorionic neurotrophin HCG in the urine of the woman suspected for pregnancy. Both biological and immunological tests are used to determine the presence of HCG in the urine of the pregnant woman. Biological test this test performed by using experimental animals. And they include Hashim Sondek test. The first test invented for the confirming pregnancy 2 ml of urine from the suspected person injected daily for 2 days of the immature mice. 5 days after the injection of urine, the mice are killed. Ovaries are examined for the presence of corpus lutea and hemorrhages in the indicated ovulation. Immunological test. The presence of HCG is also determined by using immunological technique. These tests are based on double antigen antibody reaction. Requisite anti serum from a rabbit. Urine from pregnant woman is collected HCG silatal. This HCG is injected into the rabbit. Rabbit develops antibodies against HCG. Red blood cells from the sheep and urine, urine of the woman who needs to confirm the pregnancy. One drop that means one drop of HCG of anti serum is taken on a glass line. One drop of urine from the woman who wants to confirm pregnancy is added to this and both are mixed well if the urine contain HCG antibodies of anti serum are used for agglutination of HCG molecule one drop of lactic particle is added to this and mix observation and result if the urine contain HCG disagglutinated by the antibodies of anti serum and all antibodies are fully used up this absence of agglutination of lactic particle confirm the pregnancy Next is the functions of ovary. Ovaries are the primary sex organs in females. Functions of ovaries are secretions of female sex hormones, oogenesis, menstrual cycle, ovarian hormones and estrogen are to the strong. Functions of estrogen include effect on ovarian follicles, promote growth of ovarian follicle by increasing the proliferation of follicular cells. Effect on uterus, it brings about the changes in the uterus. Like enlargement of uterus as to double up in the childhood, increase in the blood supply to uterus, deposit glycogen and fat in the endometria, proliferation of dilatation and of endometrial blood vessels, increase in spontaneous activity of uterine muscles and their sensitivity to oxytocin. All these changes prepare uterus for pregnancy. Effect of fallopian tube, act on mucosal lining of fallopian tube and increase number and size of the epithelial cells, enhance proliferation of glandular tissues in fallopian tube. All these things are necessary for the fertilization effect on vagina. Changes in the vaginal epithelium from cuboidal into stratified type which is most resistant to trauma and infections. The effect on secondary sexual characteristics. Secondary sexual characteristics in female include hair distribution, skin, body shape, pelvis and voice. The effect on breast is in close development of stromal tissues of breast growth of extensive ductile system. Effect on bones is an increase the osteoblastic activity. So, the time of puberty, the growth rate is increased enormously in old age. Estrogen is not secreted or it becomes scanty. It leads to osteoporosis. Effect on metabolism. On protein metabolism, it induces anabolism of proteins by which it increases the total body protein. On fat metabolism, it causes deposition of fat in the subcutaneous tissue, breast, buttocks, and thigh. The overall specific gravity of female body is considerably lesser than that of male due to fat deposition. 
for women's progesterone it is concerned with mainly with the final preparation of uterus for pregnancy and best for lactation effect on fallopian tube it promotes the secretory activities of mucosal lining of fallopian tube its secretion of fallopian tubes are necessary for nutrition of fertilized ovum effect on uterus it promotes secretory activities of uterine endometrium during the secretory phase of menstrual cycle increases the thickness of endometrium by increasing number and size of cell increases the size of uterine glands these glands become more tortuous increases the secretory activities of epithelial cells of uterine gland increases the deposition of lipid and glycogen in stomach cells of endothelium effect on cervix it increases the thickness of cervical mucosa and by thereby inhibit the transport of sperm into uterus effect on mammary gland it promotes the development of lobules and alveoli of mammary glands and proliferating enlarging alveolar cells effect on hypothalamus it inhibit release of lh from hypothalamus through feedback effect thermogenic effect it increases the body temperature after ovulation effect on respiration during luteal phase of menstrual cycle and during pregnancy it increases the ventilation via respiratory center effect on electrolyte balance it increases the reabsorption of sodium and water from renal tubules thank you